In this video I'll explain how to read a txt file with spaces as delimiter using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the dataset that I have stored in a folder on my computer which is called my directory and the file is called my file and as you can see this file is formatted as a text file and if we open this file you can see that our file contains three columns which are called x1, x2 and x3. However you can also see that between some of the values we have multiple spaces as delimiters. So let's assume that we want to read these data into R. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 4 and 5. So in these lines of code I am using the read.table function and within this function I am specifying the location of our file. So in this case the path of my file is my desktop and then my directory folder that I have shown you before and the file name myfile.txt and then this is very important I'm also specifying the header to be equal to true because otherwise the read.table function will not recognize the column names as header. So if you run lines 4 and 5 of the code you can see that a new data set is appearing at the top right which is called data and we can print this data set to the RStudio console by running line 6 of the code and then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have loaded our data set to R. So as you can see we have created the three columns x1, x2 and x3 and you can also see that the double spaces are not appearing in our data set so these double spaces have not been a problem for the read.table function. So in this video I have explained how to read a txt file with spaces as delimiter to the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I am explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. So you can check it out there if you want to read more about the R code that I have shown in this video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you want to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new R programming tutorials to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.